We bottle uh, seltzer in old-fashioned seltzer bottles. To start the process, we take the empty bottles, they go through a six-bay uh, siphon filling machine, and it's filled with New York City tap water that we triple filter through sand, charcoal, and paper. So it goes through a chiller, into the carbonator, mixes with the CO2, and that makes the seltzer. It, it fluctuates a little bit, but, but generally it's six, 60 pounds of pressure. The pressure is important because when you spray the bottle, when you spray, we'll, we'll take a, a store-bought seltzer. When you, when you take the cap off a, of, of a bottle, you hear the, the fizz you know, uh, coming out you know, right away. All the pressure is being released. If you take a, 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 a bottled seltzer, you know, the old-fashioned way, the first pour is the, same time, is the same pressure as the second pour and the same thing as the third pour. The pressure is going to remain constant because the valve opens and closes right away. The, the glass that's hand-blown, the glass tube inside, the head uh, is a siphon head and um, you know, metal collars. All of these items are, are, are no longer manufactured. My, my dad and my uncle have been collecting bottles for, for years and years and you know, a seltzer man would go out of business, we would buy the bottles. A guy calls me from Long Island who has a basement full of bottles, I'd go to his house and I'd get all the bottles that I possibly can. So when we break, when they break, we cry. There's a few reasons that people purchase our seltzer. Uh, one is for the aesthetics. The, the bottles look nicer. I think the, that it, you know, it's, a, it's a more traditional seltzer. Uh, people used to get home delivery back in, you know, back in the day. People were getting milk delivered, they were getting seltzer delivered. It was just a typical, you know, this is what you do in your house. Okay, let's hit the road. You know, back in the day, there were hundreds of bottlers, thousands of seltzermen, I would say. And Gomberg Seltzer Works was a, was a filling station. And, we, and Gomberg Seltzer Works has been doing that, up, it's, it's still doing it. It's now the last filling station in all of New York. So, we are the last bottlers.